When the first few weeks of fall are mild and the weather is glorious, it can kind of feel like you've won the lottery. And prairie gardeners love to spend these precious days in their gardens. But imagine, what if there was a way to turn these precious days into precious nights? Wouldn't that be amazing? Gosh, I don't know what Greg's been up to. <laughs> he doesn't do anything halfway, Jillian. No, this is fascinating, actually. Oh my. I feel like this. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. It is perfect. Wow. Look at this. It's a whole other experience in the evening. Yeah. Wow. You there's know. flame, there's light, there's lamps. Yep. Colors. Water. Little fire. Wow. So beautiful. I can't believe, look, there's little lights in here. So tell me about this grass. So I'm loving this. This is truly a bouquet <laughs> in a pot. Like I love this firework grass and these zinnias. Where yeah. did it come from? Well, okay, the, the zinnias I grew from seed. Um, zinnias are really easy to grow from seed. Yeah. I did it because I saw they grew it on the space shuttle. So I oh. figured if they could start a zinnia from seed, I can do it too. But yeah. this, this grass, I love that you called it firework grass. Yeah. because I don't actually know what it is. It, when we first moved into the house, we had a clump of it growing, and we think it came from bird seed. I think it's a kind of millet. I, I haven't totally been able to nail it down, but I've saved the seed. I've grown it a few different ways, where I've put a bunch of seeds in a pot and made a big clump, and it's been the center center point or the, you know, the big tall yep. thing in a, in a planter. Yep. But this year, I made very small groupings of it, and I mixed it in with the zinnias, and I, I really, really like it. It's a great way to to use it, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what it it's is. It's just so natural and beautiful. And I would cut it and bring it into the house. Yeah. And keep it in a, yeah. in a jug. You know how the, the, the brides are just making their way back into the homes? Well, yeah. I guess they've been for a yeah. little while now, but yeah. This to me is way lovelier than Pampas. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Well, I can, I can set you up with some. <laughs> okay, well, I'd yeah. really appreciate that. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think that firework grass is better than bird seed weed, which is well, and it lit up like. like this also. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the fancy lighting. I don't know what well, to say. I'm, he just oh, does an amazing paper. job. Look, the paper lantern. Yeah. I love it. I oh. absolutely love it. Yeah, me too. It's kind of like, you know, we try to extend the season mm -hmm. with the, just the days, yeah. but actually inhabiting a space at night, yes. right? That's why they call it garden party. <laughs> this, is, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is next level garden party next though. Level. Yeah. It's amazing. Like I. I have struggled with what to put in here. I'm mm -hmm. happy with what's in here this year, mm -hmm. like particularly this Tithonia, this Zinnia. Oh my gosh, the Rebecca. But this, what this light is doing, like it's changing the tone of the color. As the color of the light changes, it's, it's changing the intensity of this. It's really fun. It's creating a glow. I'm going to not get enough sleep because I'm going to be out here all the time <laughs> <laughs> until, until the frost comes. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Wow. I love this combination. I don't even feel like I'm in Alberta right now. I feel like I'm somewhere exotic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do too. And it's my house, so that's yeah. really great. <laughs> that's pretty lovely. You can just step out your back, back door and into this space. That's right. You know? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. cool. It's very cool.
this um, is an experience. It's such a, an entirely different thing than the daytime. And when you come into evening, yeah. I usually just have like a little bonfire and have people poker with the marshmallows. So <laughs> <laughs> this is this is next level. Yeah, it's quite lovely. How many how many water features do you guys think you have going on here? I, it's four or five. Yeah. Uh, I honestly, five, five, yeah. yeah. Cameraman says it's five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Yeah, um, I love the sound of the water. I really mm -hmm. notice it when it's not on. Yeah. And this, like, I couldn't do this. This is all Greg, this mm -hmm. lighting. He's got a real sensibility for it. And I don't even know, like, I wouldn't even know where to start, but I'm so, I'm so lucky yeah, like th I, this is in my space, you know, yeah. like, and I feel like there's like no fear. Like, you know, like some people are like, oh, I'm just going to do the Edison lighting because, well, that's a trend and it's quite romantic and it's super lovely. Yeah. But he's like, you know what, I'm going to experiment with color and yeah. I'm going to spotlight these areas. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to create stars in the spruce tree and spotlight some birds and mm -hmm. like turn these focal points and pots into flame. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. there's no there's no fear. It's just yeah. creativity and And you know, now art. with LED lighting, mm -hmm. it doesn't like it doesn't have to tax your power bill and and all that stuff too. It's it's mm. it's really it's great. I, I feel really I feel really lucky. It takes I like this is awesome. And it just kind of got here, like in the last few weeks. It's a lot of work. Yep. Again, mm -hmm. like short, short season, but worth it. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like taking notes about where everything is, so it's the first thing that gets set up in the spring. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. Because <laughs> Greg will do it. Yeah, Greg will do it. I'll be like Mark. first thing this spring. Yeah. This is what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's really nice. It's so nice to be out here. You know. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, when you're taking something in and you just want to know more, there's nothing like a good conversation. We should chat with Greg. We should chat with Greg. I'd like to see how his mind works a little bit. Yeah. If we can get in there. <laughs> It'd be fun. Greg, can we put you on the hot seat? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time when we'll be talking to Greg and hearing all about his inspiration for lighting. Thank you for watching, Twyla and Jillian. <laughs>